Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my bookish world. I'm Alex and today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated reads for 2020. So these are the books that I said that were my most anticipated reads for 2020 and I'm going to go over whether or not I read them, whether or not I loved them, and all that. Um, this is the latest I think I've ever filmed a video. It's like 10 o'clock at night. So yeah, um, which kind of makes me nervous, but you know what? I had a long day at work and then I had stuff to do when I got home, so... It's like my first real chance I say that, except I spent like two hours watching a documentary on Charles Manson. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to get this video out still on Thursday and keep to my regular posting schedule. So here we are filming before I need to go shower because I have to work again tomorrow. So let's start off. So my first most anticipated book um, that I had on my list came out in May, and that was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which by Suzanne Collins, which I did read um, pretty much as soon as I got it. I gave it, hang on, do I sneeze? <coughs> well, yes, I do. <coughs> Whew, that was ugly. I gave it four stars, um, although it's closer to 3.5, but whatever. Four stars. Um, I really enjoyed this. It definitely could have been better, but I was just so excited to be in the world of the Hunger Games again that I absolutely fell in love with it. The next book that I had on here was Chain of Gold, which came out in March, and this is by Cassandra Clare, and I did read this, and I did give it a five stars. Um, I was really excited this because it's kind of like the sequel series to The Infernal Devices, um, and I also got to meet Cassandra Clare and get it signed before, like, you know, everybody went into lockdown. So, like, I have a lot of good memories associated with this book. I... And, like, I got to see Jesse from Jesse the Reader and Maureen from Warren Keithy. And, like, just, I met people and it was nice. It's, like, my one good memory before lockdown hit. And I actually, like, was happy. So, yeah, there's my signature. I got to meet her. She wrote my name. She knows my name. I had a conversation with her. So, yeah, I'm, I'm always going to love anything that Cassandra Clare puts out. My dogs are insane even though it's like 10 o'clock at night they're running around everywhere the next book that i had on here was imagine me by tara moffey which came out on in march i believe like march 31st i dnf'd this um i don't know if i just wasn't in the mood for it or if i was just getting tired of this world but i got like a few pages into the ebook of it and i returned it um i don't think i'll ever finish this series i'll be honest i don't know if i grew out of it or what it's just doesn't interest me anymore. Uh, the next book was The Night Country by Melissa Albert, which was like the sequel to The Hazelwood, which I did read. I don't remember my rating. It was like between a three and a four star. Um, I enjoyed it. Not my favorite thing. I think I liked The Hazelwood more, actually. I think. Um, but I'm excited to read more from Melissa Albert in the future. And the next book that I had on here was House of Earth and Blood, which I believe came out in March, that might be a lie, um, or April, I think it was March, I don't know, anyway, I did read this, um, even though she, a huge one, I spent, like, the month of April this year reading two of the biggest books on my TBR or something, this one in From Blood and Ash, and so I only, like, the entire time I was reading those books, um, but yeah, I did read it, I think I get five stars, although, close to like a 4, 4.5 but at the time it was a five stars for me and I'm really excited to read more by Sergi Mass specifically but also in this world because I really enjoyed it also I'm pissed because my copy came with like a little rip on it I'm so annoyed about it and the next book that I had on here is Sanctuary Highway by Ellen Hopkins I have not read this um I think I have it on my TBR somewhere for 2021 I honestly don't remember what this book is about but I've loved Ellen Hopkins works in the past so I think that's why it was on my TBR so I'm maybe I'll get to it I don't know and then the next book that I had on here was Rage and Ruin by Jennifer L. Armentrout which I've read I loved I gave five stars this came out in June I think yeah June and I really loved it um honestly my favorite author or maybe did I give it five stars yeah I gave it five stars 
I, I couldn't think. I'm reading another book by her right now that's like a spinoff series. But yeah, I really loved this one and I'm very excited to read more in that series. I think the third book comes out in 2021, so that should be on my most anticipated list. You'll find out next week. And then the last, or I have three more books, I think. Yeah, three. The next book is Bridge of Souls, which is by Victoria Schwab, which is like the third book in the Cassidy Blake series. So the first book is Tunnel, not Tunnel of Bones. The first book is City of Ghosts, then Tunnel of Bones, and then Bridge of Souls, which actually did not come out this year because I guess of scheduling and the pandemic and all that. And I think it comes out in March of 2021. So technically that's still anticipated. And then number nine was The Betrothed by Kier Cass. I gave this a three stars. I know a lot of people gave it lower. Um, it wasn't that great, and I don't think I'll be carrying on with the series. So, yeah, I was I was really disappointed about that because I loved her selection series. And the last one on here is Infinity Sun by Adam Silver, which is the first book in his new fantasy series that came out in January, I think. And I also DNF'd this one. Um, I know a lot of my booktube friends felt pretty much the same way about it especially for the ones who read it um and did not enjoy it and I just I'm sorry to say it wasn't all that great so I DNF'd it but that's it for all of my books that were my most anticipated during 2020 as you can see I read I had a little bit of a usually I read all my most anticipated but you know what sometimes sometimes things happen so yeah so that's it for this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe follow my social media down below that's twitter instagram and goodreads and i will see you guys next time bye